Welcome. By the end of this video, you will be able to add text to a part so that you can make a sign in the game that you're creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So you are going to want to have Roblox Studio open. And I'm going to go ahead and open up a new game here. And once your game is loaded, you're going to want to add a part. So I'm going to go ahead and add a block. And I'm going to pull that block closer so I can see it. And then I'm also going to scale it so that I can uh, make it a larger block so that I can put a text on it so it looks more like a sign. Okay, so we've got a block here that looks pretty good for putting a sign on it. Make sure you have your Explorer and your Properties tab open on the right-hand side. If you don't see those, you can go up to View and then you can click on Explorer and Properties. I'm looking at my Explorer tab and I've got part here. I'm gonna go ahead and rename that to Sign. And what you're gonna wanna do with that part is make sure you have it anchored first. So have it selected and then go down to uh, behavior and properties and then click on anchored. So that's gonna help you out later. Now with, with the sign, you're gonna go ahead and add a surface GUI. And so putting a surface GUI is gonna give us the option to then add a text label. So to do that, we need to select surface GUI, then add a plus sign to that and then add a text label. So if you don't see yours there, you can just type it in text label and then click on it when you see it. And so you can see it added a text label to the sign uh, in the game. So if I go ahead and zoom in a little bit here, you can see it. So now you have actually added the uh, text to the part. Now the fun part is actually changing the text label so that it looks more like a sign or whatever you would like it to look like. So a couple things, most of what you are going to want to change is in the properties of the text label. So make sure that you have whenever, sometimes when you're clicking around, you can have the sign selected like I just did here. I actually I actually want to change the text label. So I want to click on text label and now I'm in the properties. So the first thing you'll want to change is probably the size. And uh, in order to find the size, you just need to keep scrolling down. You can see it here, find here for size. And you can see that it's got 0, 200, and then 0, 050. So if you change the second number, it's going to make it uh, smaller or larger. So let's make that one maybe 300. And so you can see I'm making it longer. And then instead of 50, let's do something like 150. And so you can see that it's already getting larger. Now you can either keep changing the size here, or if you're happy with the size, you actually can change the part. So in order to change the part, you just click back on sign and then go back to scale. And then, yeah, I can just keep uh, changing the scale so that the uh, part is uh, more of the size I would like. So now I've got a uh, sign that looks uh, more like a sign. So now that I have it the size that I would like, what I need to do is change the text. So again, click on the text label and you need to keep scrolling down until you see where it lists the text and you're gonna see like things like text size. Let's change that first actually. So text size, let's just make that larger. You can see I'm making it larger. And now I wanna change the actual text. So you're gonna see here in the properties, there is text that says label. I'm gonna click on that. And now in this uh, section, I can actually type in what I wanted to say. So sign for your game, perfect. So now we have the text in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and find a different uh, color. So I've got a color here. I'm gonna actually go with like a red and you can actually pick it from the palettes over here. Let's do a darker red, something like that. And so now I've got a nice red uh, text. You can also change the font. So you can see under text here, it says the font. And I actually like, uh, you can try all of these out, but I like um, the antique one's kind of nice. I actually like the arcade one. So arcade looks nice and you can see I need to change the uh, size now because I changed that. So let's make that a little smaller now. So sign for your game. Text scaled, if you click on that, it will fill the text to the size of the sign. One thing I wanna point out is that you can change the line height. And so you can see if I extend this, it makes the text uh, further apart with the lines or you can make it uh, closer together. So I did wanna point that out. Sometimes you want the text to be closer together or further apart. So the line height is where you can do that. Okay, so something very important with the signs that you make, you there may be times that you want to make the sign uh, transparent or so that you can see the texture uh, of the part behind it. So in order to do that, go to the properties and then you can see the uh, trans of the text label and you should be able to find a property for background transparency. And so if I go ahead and slide that to one, now the uh, sign is uh, transparent, the text is still there, but now I can see the part. So now if I select the part again, now I'm able to change the material. Let's say I wanted to do a wood plank, something like that. And then I can change the color to something that's maybe brown uh, or maybe lighter brown than that. There we go. So something like that. 
And now I can change the text around. So now I can have a wood plank or any other uh, material they would like. But again, to change that transparency for the text label, you go down, you click text label, click on background transparency. And lastly, I wanted to point out that you can change the alignment of the text. So you could do uh, find the properties in the text label, and then you can change that so that it goes to the left of the sign or that it's uh, justified to the right. In addition to those, you want to continue to explore the different settings. There are a lot of different settings you can do for text labels, but I simply want to show you how you can add text to a part, and then you can continue to explore the properties and uh, find what works best for you. So you now know how to add text to a part so that you can make a sign in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available, but links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.